Oh. <laughs> wow. There's definitely a difference between the two. Okay. Can you carry on? <laughs> <laughs> From my side, definitely a woman's eyes. Just, just something that that communicates with me about a woman's eyes. That, yeah. <laughs> um, for me, it's a smile. It's a very nice smile. He's generous with it. Yeah. In what? Males. Person. I go for looks first. <laughs> looks play a part, but for me. I can just drop you if your personality is just wack. I'm sorry, you could be the most beautiful person and I could drop you if your personality is not working. Yeah, but I won't lie, looks, I, looks are the first thing that attracts me. I think you need to have a great sense of humor, that's very important to me, like, yeah. A good sense of humor. Self-awareness. Self-awareness, that's good. Cool. Character, man. I love me a good character. Good character. Okay, I'm going to start with that. I uh, actually have an experience with that and it was actually where I remember seeing a particular girl. She had these hazel eyes, as I was saying about the eyes, and I remember I couldn't, I couldn't speak to her properly. I was stuttering. I was, I was just, by the time I got home, I'm just like, oh man, I can't believe what happened. Um, I know I've caught feelings when every time I think about you or you message me and you call me, like I instantly smile and I can't stop smiling when I can't stop thinking about you <laughs> like day in and day out <laughs> you're literally on my mind 24-7 <laughs> yeah I think it's the same with me <laughs> and I'm stalking your Facebook and your social <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> not that far but yeah. yeah I think if you are generally the first person I want to talk to when I wake up every morning and the last person I want to talk to when I go to bed yeah that's when I know and just me wanting to tell you about your day. Like when something happens, you're probably the first one I want to tell that so, so and so things happened on that day. That's when I know that. Mm, bruh. Calling you. I hate phone calls. So if I call you, that means I've caught feelings. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. When you feel like, you know how I used to feel when you're like 15 years old and you see someone, there's butterflies and things. Yeah. Like. Feelings? No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know, when, when, when you experience something, you kind of want to share it with the person, I think. Yeah, yeah. Or you listen to a good song and you think about it. Um, I think it depends if the person is also attracted to me and if they've made a move. If they haven't, I probably won't say anything. I'm not that brave, sorry. <laughs> For me, it's just talking and getting to know each other, like getting to know each other more and seeing if we actually compatible with each other. I think uh, for me personally, it's getting to know each other because there's psycho people out there. So I need to get to know the type of person you are, the kind of upbringing you come from, like yeah, your cultural background, and religious beliefs, and all those kind of things. Because then it's pointless if we're attracted to each other and then we clash in our whole lot, like in many different aspects. Because I've dated an atheist before and it was horrible. You're going to church. <laughs> I think for me, obviously, like I said, what attracts me is a good sense of humor. So already by then, I've gotten to know certain aspects about you and we've kind of gotten into the phase of talking and getting to know each other. So I think after that, because I don't, it really happens for me to be attracted to somebody at first instance. It, when I know for sure that I'm into somebody, I must have spoken to them for a certain period of time, right? So after, yeah. So after that, I think I'd be genuinely honest with you and tell you that, hey, I really like you. Yeah, so that's what I do. A physical touch. Mm, put a ring on it. <laughs> No, I think, I think sex is, sex is too powerful a thing to just be a part of any relationship. I just think it's something to be held on for a later stage. Um, I agree with you, but I do think it is an important part of 
a romantic relationship generally. Yes, yes, so, yes, yeah. in the long run. Yeah, in, in the long, long run. Yeah, so in the long run. But you must be sure as well that, hey, this is a person that I want to be with and yeah. that's it, yeah. Okay, it's very important. I, I think both, but it starts in dating. Yeah. So. I don't think it does because I think it kind of clouds your judgment. I think so. It does play an important part into a relationship, but it's not the only thing that plays a role into the relationship, I guess. So there's a lot of, you know, emotions um, exchanged with one another during sex and stuff like that. So it's important in that aspect that I think, like you said, it does, sometimes it does cloud judgment. But I think from that, that factor then you can then decide whether you want to be with this person or not because like it connects people on another level. Wow, like the English just... <laughs> yeah. I think that's the connection that you should run away from until you know that you're genuinely interested in this. Yeah, obviously, I mean, you're not gonna like just sleep with anybody or, you yeah. know. It depends so, when in the relationship, but uh, if you're still getting to know the person and you're not in love yet, I think it's... Okay. Yeah. I'm a guy, man. Yeah. In in a committed relationship, obviously. <laughs> so I suffer from Gobaba. So it has to be the guy. <laughs> Definitely the guy. But as a girl you can also kind of show you know. Definitely, definitely, but at the same time, most guys, exactly, most guys will see that as, hey, she wants to, yeah. you see, that sort of thing. At both parties, yeah. I'm, I'm all like for a woman initiating, a guy also initiating, so it can't always be the guy initiating. Yeah, yeah. it has to be equal parts, like you both have to want it, basically. Obviously, how not timetable. <laughs> it's natural. Whoever feels ready. That's what I think. Like, if you feel like you're ready to take a relationship there, then I guess you can initiate it. Then obviously it will depend on how the other person feels about it. So that's that's how I feel. Um, I think in general, anyone should be able to shoot their shot. Typically for me, uh, I tend to subscribe to traditional ways of courting someone, which I disagree with. I really wish I could fix it, but everything in me doesn't allow me to go to a man and pursue him. Because I think then afterwards I'll, I don't know, I just won't take you seriously. Because now I asked you out, I pursued you. Yeah. I just don't rate you anymore, I don't know. So, so I agree with that. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a girl pursue me. Uh, because that obviously, I don't know, she's probably dominant, which is, I mean, but uh, definitely the guy, I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer, I, I hate passive men, so so once a, brother, once a brother's passive, I'm just like, yo man, make your move, so yeah, I'm, I'm all for the guy pursuing. Oh. <laughs> wow. There's definitely a difference between the two. Okay. Can you carry on? Sexuality. Sexuality is I think I think it's your sexual preference. It's it's I think sexuality has to do more with yourself to say now how you how you feel I, I don't know how comfortable you are with in yeah exactly. I don't know, yeah. I think so. What's the question again? <laughs> I think sensual is a bit, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, it's the more like that like intimate, yes, yeah. yes, that presence about you and I don't know, sexuality is more how you see yourself sexually and how comfortable you are in your own skin and just just knowing yourself on that, on that level, on that aspect. For me, it's having to want each other like physically, emotionally, spiritually, in all aspects of life. Yo, that, was, that sounded so deep. But like, you have to just want each other fully to actually get to that part and experience it to 
the best part, basically. Um, honestly, I think sometimes what happens is you're just sexually attracted to somebody. So they may not really necessarily be deep feelings that you actually like them. So you, they are those sort of relationships, if you can say so. So it differs from if you're attracted to the person, also for more than uh, just the physical part. So yeah. Sexuality. Is how you identify yourself, I guess. Yeah. And then sensuality, it has to do with all your your senses, so your emotions, your feelings, and no, I don't think so. They they really go hand in hand. That's what I think. Yeah. So, sexuality is something that is your choice. It's on a spectrum. It's fluid. Um, and the idea of sensuality is that it should be responding to that, to your sexual desires. So. Yeah, I cannot agree with that. I think sensuality is probably so much it doesn't necessarily have much of a control over, I think, uh, how your senses respond to someone. And sexuality, yeah, man, I think it's something that you initiate, you do, it's a choice, you you choose to engage in sexual activities or not, um, but you don't choose, you don't choose where your eyes, or you can, depending on how self-controlled you are, but yeah. Variety. Accountability and happiness for the culture. For the culture.